Hello and welcome back to the workshop. Today we're joined by Cav and Alex from Cav Alex Models and a fantastic collection of Class 60s with full decoration. So these are looking fantastic guys and uh, how, how is the project going? Uh, as you can see um, we have some decorated samples that we received from the factory um, just in time for what a world live, um, perfect timing. Um, so we've had a look over over the samples, we've reviewed them, fed back um, our comments to the factory. Um, just a couple of minor things need doing, a couple, a couple of cosmetic changes, very minor. Um, and then we'll be looking to um, have the pre-production samples um, produced on the head of production starting uh, in the summer. Yeah, so it seems to have gone through quite quickly, this one. Is, is it from the experience of the 56 to be able to move things faster? Yes, or? yes. I, I think we've, you know, learned a lot uh, from the 56, um, with it being our first loco that has then, you know, helped us um, with our second loco. So we've learned a lot. Um, and sort of, we've managed to, I suppose, be more efficient with our time and, and working um, with the help of the factory. Have you got any particular features on these that um, you, you can tell us about which are particular highlights of the model from the design point of view? Well, for me, um, I just think the way it's gone together uh, has really captured the prototype, to be fair. Um, we've got a lot of uh, cool features, like the removable roof panels, you know, very, very well disguised. Um, you know, you can barely get it off, in fact. It seems there is that well disguised, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's really nice. Uh, the the see-through grills on the side looking into the into the engine bay and the and the light inside that sort of lights it up so you can uh, you can admire the detail is a uh, is a feature for me yeah because that's a really nice new feature in there you actually we've got engine room lighting in these as well so we, we used to kind of the traditional directional lighting cab lighting but actually to have the engine room lights particularly on something like the class 60 as well where it is so they just make a difference doesn't it it does yeah yeah absolutely and we've, we've also got the cab lights as well of course which you know helps you see that that really detailed cab that's uh you know full depth and all the uh, all the controls dials are printed and all that kind of thing which yeah, it just looks fantastic when you've got a lie in there as well. Yeah. Actually, you explained as well that actually the artwork for these is all hand-drawn as well by yourself. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, so um, we, we, as we've said before, um, Cav and I do everything from, you know, the research, the survey, the design, the artwork. Um, so so we, we do it all. It's a really detailed approach. And then, so these are just four of the, it would total about 10 or 12 locos. Yes. In the first batch, isn't yes. It? So, so there's a much broader picture of locos that yes. are coming in the first batch, aren't there? Yeah. So um, when we have the pre production samples, we'll then have bodies of every single loco that we are producing, as, as we did with the 56, just ahead of um, production for the 50 seams. And have you got a particular favourite each from the livery samples so far? 049 in metals all day long. Yeah, I mean, for me, the state delivery is, is the class 60, you know. Um, but I have to say, I, I love the DC rail freight one. I think it's I think it's a very... It's a modern delivery that arcs back to traditional deliveries as well, and I think I think that's why I like it so much. It's not it's not relying on, you know, fancy printed graphics and that kind of thing. It's it's a very straightforward grey with the company logo on, and I think it's, it's very smart and looks really good on that, on the real logo. I have to say, although Metals is always one of my favourite livery for the 60, I do like the GBRF and the DC Rail one. Whether that's because they are modern and they're still around today running like that, they they just they just look great, don't they? They do, absolutely. And, and for those who are looking at the Class 60 and thinking they might like to buy one, can you explain the full range of liveries that are available on your first batch? Yes, so uh, the general release, the, the four sectors construction, petroleum, metals and coal. And then we have load haul, EWS. Then we have the unbranded DB, Colas, GBRF and Kappa. Yeah, and Kappa Blue one as well, 68028, yeah. 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 And then you actually got quite a few specials being produced now as well. So you've got eclectically yeah. yeah. rails. Yes, yeah, so we've got, um, we have um, the GWR Eisenbard Kingdom Brunel yep. um, in, in the GWR Green. We then have 062, the Steel on Steel, which is quite a striking uh, livery. It's going to be a challenge to replicate that, surely. Yes, so. it, it, it is. I, I don't think that the factory were best pleased when we uh, <laughs> first mentioned it to them, but they, they have only this week sent us some um, some photos of the, the testing that they're doing to replicate it, and we're very encouraged by what we're seeing. Yeah, it's it's going to be very good. It's going to be quite something. And then we're doing um, we with uh, rails and the National Railway Museum. We are doing Charles Francis Brush 098 in construction because that was the 
thousandth loco to come off the production line. So, yeah, nice little collection with them. Yes. And you've got a, a pair of Transrail ones coming with yes. Ultimate Model Railways. Yes, we have. So we're doing um, 034 and 097 prior to that. They've, of course, got the DC Rail Freight 106029, which you can see here on the layout today. Uh, and you're producing that exclusive for us at Key Model World as well. So we've got that available through the Key Model World shop now. I will just say at this point that uh, our pre-order location for those has sold out at this point. But if, uh, if you're a customer wanting to buy one of those, then you can go on there and uh, add your email to a list to be notified if stock becomes available once they come in and arrive in stock as well. So are there uh, particular detailed differences between the four locos we've got on the layout here today? Yes, there are. As the the eagle-eyed amongst uh, the community will have noticed that there is uh, one in the middle there on the uh, on the steel train 001, which is is different from certainly quite significantly different from the other three. Um, 001 it is in its as delivered condition on the 30th of June '89 when it left um, the brush works, so it has different roof. Uh, the twin um, twin port exhaust silencer has the different uh, driver's cab window. It also has the the original as designed snow plow, which was then changed later on. Um, and then you'll have noticed on the DC rail uh, that that has the the new the, excuse me the new LED wipe packs. So that's different from the other three that you can see there. Yes, and those white packs, they, they have both in red and in white coming through the same lens. Don't yes, they, is that right? Yes, so, so the marker is white and uh, giving the white marker light and the red tail light. And then you have a separate headlight. So it only has two lenses per white pack instead of the, the original as built, which has the, the three. And, and what's next for the Class 60 then? Because obviously the ones we've got here, then we've got sound in them. So there's a sound project for development, mm -hmm. isn't there? Yes, we're currently working on recording the sound of the 60. Um, because uh, especially after the the success of the the, the sound with the 56 has proven you know, extremely popular um so we want to have a, a sound file that's equally as good um for customers that, that want sound with with, with our 60. Yeah. are you working with the su again to generate yes we are. Yeah. yes we're we're really pleased uh, and grateful for the support that we've had from the su and yeah. you know we want to to stick with that because the sound is phenomenal the 56 and we want to to have superb sound on the 60 as well. Yeah, and, and the way they put the sound file together on 56, that was really good. It was above and beyond what what you know what they would usually do, um, and you know they bent over backwards to help us with that. And, you know, so the same with the 60 as well. So you know we, we're looking forward to a really good comprehensive sound file. Well, naturally, we're looking forward to hearing that yeah. as well. So, <laughs> so we <laughs> what represents? So obviously, you've got the your first decorated samples here. You've got revisions that have gone back to the factory to correct them as well. Yeah. Uh, how far on are you in the process? Are you on target for your original delivery date? Um, the original delivery date was due to be before Christmas. Uh, I think that'll be a little bit of an ask to uh, get get the factory to get them here for then. So, I think we're looking at sort of in the new year, just before Chinese New Year, probably uh, similar sort of time that the uh, class fifty six has arrived this year. Uh, we we'll probably see the uh, sorry the sixties arrive uh, similar sort of time next year. Yeah. Uh, and what's the price for these locos? Uh, the price for the uh, DCC ready is uh, one nine four nine five, and the uh, sound fitted version is a hundred pound extra on top of that. So it'll be two nine four nine. Fantastic. Well, thank you both for joining us today in the workshop and for bringing the decorated samples of Class 6. It's been great to see them here and to obviously mm -hmm. play with them on the layout as well. We're always happy to play trains here in the workshop. Um, if you are looking for more information about the Cavalex Class 6, you can find it on keymodworld.com or at Cavalex Models' website at cavalexmodels.com. And if you're looking to get your name down for a 60029 in case they become available on arrival, then you can do so through the Key Model World shop and hit on the Notify Me when the product's available button there. Thank you again for watching today, and we'll see you next time.